A pleasant day for us all. We are a part of Cluster 5, Biomedical Sciences and Allied Health, under the School of Medical Technology. Today, we will present our research paper entitled, In Vitro Inhibition of Biosynthesized Chitosan Extracted from Ganoderm Malicidum Against Methicillin-Resistant Staphylococcus aureus. Here, we provided pictures that shows different types of skin conditions, like Staphylococcal scalded scale syndrome and boils and also sty. These conditions are caused by the bacteria Staphylococcus aureus. Staphylococcus aureus is a gram positive cocci, which is a major cause of numerous diseases in both healthcare and communities. Infections caused by SRUs can be treated with antimicrobials. Due to inappropriate doses of antibiotics taken by some individuals, there are some strains of SRUs that are developing resistance to certain antibiotics stated by Chen and Huang in 2014. Infections caused by methicillin-resistant Staphylococcus aureus caused a huge impact on healthcare and its insignificant morbidity and mortality rate has been a major concern world worldwide. There have been reports in some Asian countries that showed highest rates of MRSA among other SRUs isolates from hospitals. It has been reported that hospitals in Korea, Taiwan, and China has a prevalence rate of 70 to 80% according to Song in 2011. Because of rapid urbanization and high-density population, it increases the risk of the, of the development and spread of MRSA stated by um, NEMA in 2018 and has a rate of 62%. It can be still become a great threat when it comes to immunocompromised patients. Kaitasan, derived from fungi cell walls, has a promising antimicrobial activity against fungi, bacteria, and also viruses. Although it has a bacteriostatic and bactericidal activity, its exact mechanism is not fully understood, and several other factors may contribute to antimicrobial actions. It says it is also safe and efficient agents that are less likely to stimulate resistance development as stated by Kong. In 2010, it has interaction with other cellular components, cytoplasmic membrane, and with cytoplasmic constituents according to Rafat in 2009. And it has an uh, antimicrobial material against a wide range of target organisms according to Goy in 2009. Compiled information was then used to come up with the Title In Vitro Inhibition of Biosynthesized Chitosan Extracted from Ganoderma Lacidum Against Methicillin Resistant Staphylococcus aureus. For our methodology, MRSA samples was clinically isolated. The isolate was screened using disk diffusion or Kirby Bauer method by using oxazidin and cefoxidin as the antibiotics. For a more sensitive and accurate result, Vitec 2 was used for phenotypic identification. For the collection and culture of the cultivated mushroom, mycelia were acquired from Rizal Technological University and was replanted in potato dextrous agar and were incubated for five days at room temperature. The cultured mycelia were then inoculated in 100 ml potato dextrous broth and were incubated at 30 degrees for seven days at 150 RPM in a laboratory rotator. In the biosynthesis of chitosan, the fungal mycelia were filtered and was washed twice with sterile distilled water, and it was dried in an oven at 60 degrees Celsius for 5 hours. The dried mycelia were then deproteinized using 4 molar sodium hydroxide, 1 is to 20 weight over volume, with constant stirring at 100 degrees Celsius for 2 hours. The supernatant was discarded after heating, and the chitin or chitin rather, was filtered and washed with sterile distilled water four times. The deprotonization process was performed twice and the material was finally dried for three hours in a dry oven at 60 degrees Celsius. For the deacetylation process, chitin was placed at 90 degrees Celsius in 50% sodium hydroxide solution with 1 is to 10 weight over volume with a constant stirring of three hours. It was filtered and the supernatant was removed. It was stirred again at 120 degrees Celsius for 2 hours in 50% sodium hydroxide solution with 1 is to 15 weight over volume. It was filtered and washed with distilled sterile water until reaching pH 7. 
Kahit isang extracted has now been dried for 2 hours in an oven at 50 degrees Celsius, according to Chang in 2018. Extracted kaitasan was purified in 1% acetic acid by dissolving. During filtration, insoluble materials were removed. The pH of the filtered solution was then adjusted to pH 10 for subsequent precipitation and centrifugation of the dissolved kaitasan. The precipitated gaitusan was collected and supernatant was discarded until pH 7 was achieved. The pellets were rinsed with sterile distilled water. The gaitusan was dried from the oven and placed in a clean drying container. The purified gaitusan was then dissolved in 1% acetic acid to achieve an initial concentration of 2 mg per ml according to Chang in 2018. For the susceptibility testing, minimum inhibitory concentration was used. A uniform amount of 500 microliter using kytosan, vancomycin as the positive control, and 1% acetic acid as the negative control was dispensed into 10 tubes containing 1 milliliter of Mueller Hinton broth. Then 10 microliter of organism was added to the tubes. The organism was measured with a McFarland standard using a densitometer for evenly distribution of 0.50 and was incubated at 37 degrees Celsius for 24 hours. After 24 hours of incubation, samples were sent to De La Salle University Das Marinas Biology Lab to determine the minimum inhibitory concentration. UV-Vis spectrophotometer was used at 600 nanometer and the results were triplicated. To determine the minimum bactericidal concentration, the samples were immediately inoculated to a Mueller Hinton agar and was incubated for 24 hours at 37 degrees Celsius. Now, let us go to results and discussion. Objective 1 is to determine the bactericidal activity of the biosynthesized chitosan against MRSA. In this objective, we want to know if the biosynthesized chitosan contains any bactericidal properties, and if it does have these properties, we want to know the lowest concentration of the biosynthesized chitosan that will inhibit the growth of MRSA. Table 1 shows that the MBC for the biosynthesized chitosan in MRSA is 0.00048 mg per milliliter, while the MBC for the vancomycin, which is the positive control, is 0.049 mg per milliliter since these concentrations did not exhibit any bacterial growth. However, acetic acid which is the negative control, did not exhibit any bactericidal activities against MRSA. Objective 2 is to determine the chemical components of the sample extracted from Ganoderma lucidum. We sent the sample for FTIR analysis. The extracted sample was sent to De La Salle University, Manila for Fourier transform infrared spectroscopy or FTIR analysis to confirm if the extracted material is the same or indeed chitosan based on its chemical properties. Figure 1 shows that the spectra of the biosynthesized chitosan showed that peak 4, which is 1159 and 1063, that these peaks are the confirmation of the CN bonding since chitosan is composed of a glucosamine linked via beta 1,4 to an N acetyl glucosamine residue. Lastly, peak 5, which is 1063.64, has a strong presence of the ether part in the chitosan is seen in sharp to medium peaks. Now let us go to objective 3. It is to determine the ability of the chitosan to inhibit and kill MRSA when compared to positive and negative controls. So the previous slides that we talked about earlier showed that the biosynthesized chitosan contains antimicrobial properties. Now in this slide, um, the ability of the chitosan to inhibit MRSA is compared with the inhibition made by the positive control, which is vancomycin, and the negative control, which is acetic acid. Now, if you could take a look at the table presented, um, the one and over result in table 1 inferred that there is a significant difference in mean percent growth inhibition of MRSA across different treatment groups where F is equal to 33.961 and the p-value which is equal to 0 0.0, which makes the interpretation significant.
Um, now, this implies that the concentration of the bisynthesized kytosan will significantly inhibit the growth of MRSA. So, this is figure 2, which is the percent growth inhibition of MRSA across different treatments. Um, this figure shows the capacity of the bisynthesized kytosan to inhibit MRSA as compared to vancomycin, which is the positive control, and acetic acid, which is the negative control. The mean percent growth inhibition of MRSA across different treatment groups is 82.44% for kytosan, 86.94% for vancomycin, and 35.13% for acetic acid. Um, the following pictures uh, that we are going to show to you are the macroscopic analysis of the tubes that was used in susceptibility testing. Um, the first set of tubes are the tubes containing the kytosan sample. And as you can see, there is zero to almost no turbidity on the tubes. Um, and as the dilution, dilution rather decreases, you can see that the tubes are still clear after 24 hours of incubation at 37 degrees Celsius, which indicates the inhibition of the test organism. Now, um, the second picture contains the positive control, which is the vancomycin. And again, um, zero to almost no turbidity on the tubes. And as the dilution decreases, you can see here that the tubes are still clear after 24 hours of incubation at 37 degrees Celsius. Um, the vancomycin that we used um, in this experiment is in suspension form and we believe that um, that it caused the slightest turbidity of the tubes. Um, the third picture you can see here um, contains the negative control uh, which is 1% um, acetic acid. Um, the first tube appears to be clear but as the dilution decreases you can visibly see um, that it becomes turbid after 24 hours of incubation at 37 degrees Celsius, uh, which indicates uh, bacterial growth. After all of that, um, after determining the MIC, these were inoculated in MHA agar, and the results will be the MBC. First was kytosan showing no growth at all plates after 24 hours of incubation at 37 degrees Celsius. Um, the second batch of plates um, was the positive control, which is the vancomycin, also showing no growth at all plates after 24 hours of incubation at 37 degrees Celsius. The third batch of plates was the negative control acetic acid. Now, um, if we could take a look here, you can really see um, the plates from tubes 1 to 10 um, showed growth after incubation of 24 hours at 37 degrees Celsius. Finally, we are now on the summary and conclusion of this research. The bisynthesized kytosan extracted from Ganoderma lucidum was obtained through the proteinization and the acetylation. It has a highly significant bacteriostatic and bactericidal activity against methicillin-resistant Staphylococcus aureus. The results of the MIC and MBC are comparable to the standard antibiotic vancomycin. These results indicated that the biosynthesized kytosan can be efficient and have potential for medical applications and as an alternative source of antimicrobial agent. Recommendations To strengthen the research, further studies must be performed. These are the researchers' recommendations to improve the study's findings. First, in this time and age of weak natural antibiotic discovery, biosynthesized kytosan has potential application as an alternative antibiotic. Further testing for other pathogens is recommended. Animal modeling and toxicity testing should be conducted to determine its in vivo behavior to identify potential adverse effects arising the biosynthesized kytosan exposure. And lastly, extracting kytosan from other species of mushroom and other biological source can be an additional to this study. I'm Patricia Iparwa. I'm Jessamaria Caranto. That is all, and, and thank, thank you, you for listening. listening.